concerned parties. The fewer constraints, the better. And reali in reality, there are different degrees of openness between the two extremes that I have sketched out. And likely, uh, likewise, there is a diversity of technical specifications related to interoperability. And that range from those embodying formal standards through the free public specifications and up to the proprietary information. To cover all those aspects, I have proposed five key actions in the digital agenda for Europe. <coughs> Number one, have more and better standards recognized and created in Europe. Number two, to make better use of those standards. And third, to improve interoperability in the absence of standards. How to recognize and create more <coughs> and better standards in Europe? <coughs> First, we badly need to reform how ICT standards are dealt with in Europe, high on my list. Both internal commission reflection and a wide public consultation have shown that the European standardization framework is out of sync with fast-moving technology markets. And in that context, I'm, uh, no, I'm cooperating with my yeah, colleague, uh, Vice President uh, Tanjani, very closely. And by the end of the year, the Commission will make the necessary proposals for the reform of the European standardization system. And in particular, some key reforms will be of special relevance to the ICT sector. So wait and see. We are aware that you are in a hurry. We are in a hurry. We are aware that we have to, to act and we have to deliver. The standards that power the digital world are made by the economic actors. And in Europe, only ETSI allows those actors to directly participate in the making of standards. One negative result is that the standards underpinning the emerging universal communication platform, the internet and the world wide web, including standards for content Formats are made elsewhere. And that puts those standards, many of which are truly open, that's to say they do not come with any constraints for implementers, at a disadvantage vis a vis European standards when in legislation or public procurement. Just an example, but that's quite clear for you. I think we would have been spared some unnecessary fights over the use of document file formats by public bodies in the last few years if there had been a European document format standard already available. Clear 